Good morning and welcome to your Morning Cup of Inspiration. Thanks for joining me. Do you remember that game in the game arcades years ago called Whack-A-Mole? It was a mole head that would pop up here and another one there and they would pop up at different times and you had a hammer and you were trying to hit them and hit as many as you could. Well, you know, that's how I see my Christian walk sometimes. I've got a sin that pops up here, a sin that pops up there. I'm trying to hit this one down and another one pops up. And I just can't win. There is sin all around me, and I'm doing my best, but I feel like a failure. I go through life with a lot of guilt. Maybe you do the same thing. I mean, Scripture says if you know to do good and don't do it, to him it's sin. So it's it feels like it's impossible, doesn't it? How about Paul? Look at Paul. I was reading the seventh chapter in Romans. Let me share this with you. This is what Paul has to say about it. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. He says, For I have the desire to do what's good, but I cannot carry it out. For what I do is not the good I want to do. No, the evil I do not want to do. This I keep on doing. So, what's the answer? He says, who will rescue me from this body of death? He said, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, the devil loves to tell us lies when we're dealing with this sin in our life. He tells us to give up. He tells us you're not a real Christian. If you were a real Christian, you'd be able to stop yourself from sinning. And then he starts categorizing sin as to which one's worse and which one's not worse. Well, you know... The law in the Bible is there to show us what sin is, because if we didn't have it, we wouldn't know what a sin was, and it's to hold us accountable. But we are not under the law anymore, and the good news comes out in chapter 8, where Paul says, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. When you come to Christ and accept Him in your heart, and allow him to lead your life, he does not condemn you. He knows you can't do it. That's why he died. That's why he has supplied his grace and his mercy for you every day. Every morning, his grace and mercy is new to you. Every day, he covers those sins. There is no condemnation. We need to keep that in mind. Paul goes on to say, to say that the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. So let's remember that today. Let's be sons of God. Don't be under condemnation. Do all you can. Keep a mind of the Spirit. And let's be successful today and be victorious today and live in peace today as we're led by the Spirit and become sons of God. God bless. Thanks for joining me.